Cool. So uh, I'm sure this can apply to other people, but I'm going to talk about how it uh, applies to my show specifically. So I use the virtual cam all the time via Zoom. So what I do, and I set up uh, a sample scene, when people come on to the Zoom room for the show, I put up this screen so that way they know uh, where they are, that they're in the right place, and that uh, the show is going to start soon. But I also have a countdown. So something that I do, so that way I don't have to worry about it, I can get any last minute preparations ready, I have a invisible timer. So typically my countdown is 15 minutes, but I don't really want people watching a 15 minute countdown. I'd rather have them pay attention for that five minutes or two minutes. So something that I have here, and you'll kind of see here, it's weird looking at myself. It, uh, <laughs> it's, awesome. it's right by my ear, there's a timer, but we can see that. So uh, something that I do, is, and I'm going to actually switch to live demo mode for this. There we go. Uh, something that I do is I actually will switch it to either the color of the background or uh, turn the opacity all the way down. And that's something really cool uh, that I figured out was that if you turn the opacity down, the, the timer still works. They just can't see it. So if you have a more complicated pre-show screen, you can have it completely invisible. And... I set it to the amount of time I want. In this case, it's 10 minutes. So it's going to then transition to the five minute countdown. So I have it uh, set to go to next scene when finished. And now you can't see it. So even if I put it on my face, you still can't see it. So I'm not going to sit through that whole 10 minutes. But when that 10 minutes is up, it's then going to shift to the five minute countdown. So that way, I can uh, not. I don't have to worry about that. Uh, yeah, so it's, it helps you flow it's through super. Your scenes. That's awesome. Exactly, and uh, and something that you can do as well is if you um, something I've been playing with is you have that pre-show screen, a countdown for maybe like five minutes, and then when you get to two minutes, you can shift it to something else. So you would have to do some calculations, but if you have a five-minute countdown, you might want a small invisible two minute countdown to shift to something else. So 